PEI's progressive conservative leader has issued an apology to the island's transgender community for comments he made campaigning in the province's ongoing election. This is Dennis King, who's looking to secure a second term for his party. He's now facing a backlash from the island's LGBTQ community. Kerry Campbell has been doing the reporting on all of this. He's live in Charlottetown with us this morning. And good to see you again, Kerry. Thank you. Uh, tell us about the comments that Dennis King made. What did he say that sparked this backlash? Well, yeah, Heather, these comments were leaked onto social media from that visit King made to a voter in his district. He said he didn't know he was being recorded, uh, but that voter had put forward these transphobic uh, views, raised concerns about a drag queen storytelling event that was actually postponed on PEI, postponed because there were online attacks directed against the performer. So the voter used this phrase uh, that this was being forced down Islanders' throats. And then in the clip that circulated, uh, you can hear uh, Dennis King uh, repeating that phrase, saying, be happy with who you are. You don't got to drive everything down everyone's throat. So this was circulating over the weekend, and this was just days after uh, a leader's debate as part of this campaign, or the four leaders uh, were asked uh, how to deal with this rise in transphobic hate speech in PEI. Dennis King's response was, call that out immediately. So here he is talking about that conversation with the voter, followed by some of the reaction. You try to get to the bottom of where somebody is thinking and where their thought process is developed from, and, and that's what I did there. I mean, yeah, hate and homophobia has no place and discrimination has no place in the world, but we have to be able to have a conversation with everybody about these difficult uh, transitional issues. It kind of feels like posturing more than anything uh, to say that it needs to be called out immediately and then behind closed doors when speaking to potentially a voter um, to, to give a different answer that very much caters to that individual's beliefs is inconsistent, um, it's spineless, um, it's extremely disappointing and damaging and harmful. So there has, Carrie, been an apology from Dennis King, but there's since been even more fallout. Tell us about that. Yeah, so after we spoke to Dennis King about this yesterday, the party eventually issued a written apology uh, attributed to him, where he said, I should have more forcefully stood up for the transgender community, and I apologize unreservedly to those who are rightfully offended by my lack of action. Uh, but other political parties have jumped on this. The Greens saying that leaders need to stand up for vulnerable communities in PEI. The Liberals saying that Islanders deserve to know which Dennis King they're speaking with. Is it the official version or the off the record one? And then finally, Pride PEI uh, issued a statement and said that politicians from all parties will not be allowed to participate in this year's pride parade, not until they can all get together after the election and come up with some uh, concrete plan, uh, some way to deal with this increase in hate speech on the island directed towards the LGBTQ community. Carrie, great to speak with you again this morning. Carrie's the provincial affairs reporter there on the island, Carrie Campbell in Charlottetown. And again, thank you very much.